princely, yeah, the crown goes to me The first prince, look at how I get jazzy First of his name, Leon will reign I'm next up, so go ahead and crown E Now I know that you have hurt But I'm the young David Giant killer Playing at the demons of my enemies Kelly out to Italy Think of me for centuries They gon' see my stars out in the street what up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into yet another League of Legends video. For those of you who are new and haven't seen my content before, I love League content, even though I don't play League. So I, I don't get all the lore references and stuff. I'm probably gonna have to ask some questions about it, but I really love the visuals and the music that they release. It's always super high quality, and I usually really enjoy it. And so I always react to it when some new stuff comes out. They got a new cinematic out, so we're going to be reacting to that today these videos tend to be very long because i tend to have a lot to say about them so i don't want to make this intro too long but definitely make sure to subscribe not to miss any more future league content i've reacted to league stuff in the past i'm going to continue to do so in the future so definitely make sure to stick around not to miss any of that but without further ado let's get into this and i'll see all you guys on the other side tomorrow is a hope never a promise Okay, so in their cinematics, from what I've noticed, the songs in them tend to be very cinematic. Obviously, they tend to be less like traditional pop radio smash and more like anthemic trailer music. And this seems to be, be following like a similar trend as far as like the ambient nature of the song as well as the way in which the vocals come in for sections and then like leave for sections i don't know if that's just how they edited the song for this but that's how it's sounding in the video which is very cool again gives it a very like movie vibe you forget that you're watching like basically a video game trailer you know you're like whoa i'm watching this super high quality animated movie uh which i think is super dope i don't know the artist who worked on this song, looking at the name, looking at the title of the video itself, the artists who are credited for this, I think 2Way or 2WEI, I'm pretty sure they've worked on some other League stuff that I've reacted to as well. But other than that, I don't know who these artists are. So I'm not sure who the songstress singing is, but she sounded very good, very emotive in her delivery there uh we're gonna continue but again i don't play league so i don't i don't know who these like angelic beings are or, or who the demon dude is he, he kind of giving them the business right now i'm not gonna lie like he, he about to solo the whole team but yeah looks sick as always super high quality animation and uh character design the two winged avian beings have different like styles of wings the one with four wings has like white like almost like dove style wings and then the other one has a set of two wings that are like multicolored. i don't know if there's like some meaning behind that or, or what's going on these could be the same character with like two different skins i don't i don't know but comment section down below please give me information i do read all of the comments especially the ones that are like super lore heavy and like you know the ones that are like obnoxiously long they're like eight paragraphs long explaining all the detail of the characters and the background and all of that. Yeah, I read those. I'm super invested in them. So please give me all the information. But so far, insane.
Okay, so <laughs> oh, man, that was dope. Um, that was clearly the the chorus based off the lyrics. Um, yeah, leading into that chorus with those huge brass steps, that bang, 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 hard. That was hard, bro. And also, uh, the the purple haired chick who's. I'm just gonna call her Raven. I don't know her name, so I don't. I don't know how to. I don't want to just keep saying purple. So we're, when I'm saying Raven, I mean the person with the purple hair who's like making the hard light constructs with the chains. Her. Okay. So Raven. I was. I was not expecting all that intensity out of her. I thought they was about to give up. No. No. I thought wrong. Uh, she had like the, the I don't know, varicose veins or whatever on her face, uh, and let out like all the dark magic what i'm just i'm spitballing i don't know what's going on i'm waiting for you guys to type in the comments what what's actually happening but it looks super sick and then the um the blonde one with the the four white wings she actually looks familiar now that her helmet's off and she like did that move i think that character may have appeared in a different cinematic that i reacted to i'm i'm not sure if that's right but i i think so that character looks familiar maybe i've seen like some fan art of her or something but uh yeah again Riot does it again, super high quality. Uh, I would not want to fight that thing. Trigon or whatever, just keeping with DC references. Um, whatever the name of that demon is, I, I wouldn't want to take it on. But they, I mean, yeah, holy fire, heavenly blast, whatever paladin style attack she just used. That, that looks sick. And it matched the intensity of the music in the chorus, which went from super chill like almost ballady introspective vibe to like no i'm st i'm not dying we gonna fight and i'm gonna win and um sick Okay, so I want to, before this goes into whatever is about to happen, I can tell, tell it's about to go crazy. You know, just, every time it's an old samurai, just don't, I don't know why people fight old people who are warriors. It's like that quote where they say, fear the man who lives long in a profession where men die young. Like, he didn't get that old by being a pushover, you feel me? But... Okay, whatever. They about to fight. They probably gonna lose. I'm I'm not gonna lie. You you can't beat old people who who carry swords. It's just it's a law of the universe. But I want to talk about real quick the way that they have orchestrated this video around the song itself, having hits in the percussion like line up perfectly with hits of like the bow staff or hits of the the kick or hits of that that just ah it's so immersive it, it pulls you in and i uh, i love it i love I, uh, I i can never say enough good things about riot i feel like however much they pay their animation slash music team it's not enough because like these videos always come out absolutely stellar and that's just another example of it i really liked that in this second verse we got some percussion in that first hook and that carried on into the second verse giving us more energy that continued to build as the verse went on and now as we're leading into the second chorus it cuts out i'm expecting it to be like the first verse and first chorus where it cuts and then goes straight into the chorus having this like huge you know impactful moment due to the silence that preceded it and it's not like a true silence there is like some reverb tales and things that are left over from like the previous instrumentation that was before that there was like a kind of like haunting uh, orchestral violin section there that has like a lot of like ambient reverb that is like left over kind of lingering haunting in the air but with that being said most of the instrumentation is gone the songstress is not singing at that moment so it creates this like void that at least in the first verse transition into the first chorus 
was then immediately filled with like these massive like brass stabs that felt even more impactful because of the way that they went about structuring this song. So I just, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. And also this looks dope. He drew a line in the set. You don't cross the, again, have these people never, never seen a samurai movie. That is like the number one way to end up with no head is, is cross the line that was drawn in the sand by the old dude with a sword. You just, you don't do it. Anyway, we're gonna continue. These guys with like the Ambu mask on are, are, are they're about to die. I, I'm 100% sure of it. Or maybe he's gonna use like some reverse blade thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like some Rurouni Kenshin type thing where the blade is on the back end or he flips the sword around and like hits them with the dull end and doesn't actually kill them. But I, I feel like they're gonna die. This, this video has been kind of dark leading up to this. I think they're gonna die. So uh, let's continue. Bro, 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 come on, come on now. First off, not only did I warn y'all, y'all laughed at the man earlier, and then once he started giving you the molly whopping, your leader ran away. If your leader run away, you know what they say, cut the head off the snake, the whole body dies. If your leader run away, you need to be running too. Don't be dying over a coward, okay? I don't... Anyway, that transition of the, the arrow transitioning into like the snowy sky, that was fire oh my goodness yeah yeah <laughs> wow just wow uh also he busted out like some some like tornado sword move like he had like an up up slash like link created like a a wall of air blocked the, the air you, you saw it you know what i'm talking about um this is pretty cool again i don't know any of these characters i don't know any of the lore behind it i may have seen some of these people cosplayed at a con or something or some fan art or maybe one of them made an appearance in a previous cinematic that I reacted to, but I'm forgetting whatever. But uh, I don't I don't know the backstory of the character. So I'm just like taking it in as a music video kind of vibe. And uh, it's fire. It's hitting for me. I'm not going to lie. The song itself is really great. The songstress herself is very belty in her delivery, but it's not overpowering the song, because the composition has so many instruments in it, like a full-on orchestra, a full-on percussion section, you got brass, uh, there was like some um, Asiatic, like, uh, you know, the, the ancient Asian guitar -y sounding, China has a bunch of them, Japan has a bunch of them, Korea has a bunch of them, I don't know exactly which one that is, okay, I'm not an expert on traditional Asian stringed instruments, but pick one, if that's the one you think it is, sure. Okay, but that, they had some of that in there. Like, there's there's so much... This is so dense as far as the, the production that even with her, like, full-on belting, it doesn't drown out the sound of the overall composition, which is really interesting. Wright does this thing a lot in their mixing of their songs where they have the ad-libs mixed way, 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 way in the background where they're, like, ever so faint and you can, like, barely hear them. It actually annoys the hell out of me. It's one of the few things that I dislike about Riot's music. I'm personally a huge fan of ad-libs, so I like when they're very present in the mix and very discernible because that's my favorite part of the song usually but we haven't gotten to like any like super ad libby section but i don't know how they're gonna handle that with a song this melodically dense as far as like the mixing of it we shall see as we continue forward but uh that section was fire and i also find it very interesting that the percussion section is continually building with every section we get to and it's not like a hard reset. And what I mean by that is a lot of times the chorus will be the peak in Sonics. And a, a lot of that is like the percussion going crazy and, and being at its 
loudest point and then you'll go back down as you go back into the verse i produce a lot of songs like that as well where like the most impactful part of the song is the chorus section that that a section or b section depending on how you structure the song um, but in this it is a continual build over the course of the song does that make sense like chorus two is more intense than verse two which is more intense than chorus one which is more intense than verse one it's a it's an upward trajectory so uh let's keep going i'm i'm buckled in i'm ready for this ride let's see where they take us Okay, sorry, I, I got super sucked into the video, forgot I was supposed to be talking, you know, ah, uh, wow, Th wow, um, so again, I, I don't play League, so I have to relate this to things that I'm aware of, so this is, this is about to include some Dungeons and Dragons references, okay, it's still nerdy, but a different kind of game, alright, so, uh, the, the Berserker dude with the huge sword, he's the one from earlier, right, the first scene, where... The, the people are coming with the axes and like somebody was coming from the distance. I'm assuming that it's it's this archer who we have here. At first, I thought that she was kind of like a druid character with like the, the beast taming and also the, the general uh, elemental plus beast taming plus archery vibe. It was, it was like that. That's why my brain was going with it. Now she's more of like a, a typical ranger. Well, I guess rangers can also be be beast tamers as well that's not a, an exclusively druid ability but that's not the point the point is whoever she is she is apparently like an ally of his teammate colleague uh maybe it's his partner i don't know but the transition from him like bloodlusted and like trying to attack her and i guess also attacking them as well maybe what he was fighting off with the like the huge shadow demon fin reared wolf thing that he was fighting was actually them i don't know when he had the, the the spell casted on him or whatever that like had him hallucinating but uh it was cool that like the way it broke out as the arrows transitioned past him it was just, i thought it was dope i thought it was dope i thought it was dope the, the visuals on this are fire and of course the song itself it's also going crazy during this section again lots of building lots of orchestral things which riots likes to throw into their music to again just make it that much more anthemic that much more epic in the the section here with the songstress as she is belting harder and harder as we're getting more and more layers of her vocals they're actually fading her out of the the songs it's super it's weird i, I don't think i've seen anybody do that before where as the uh songstress goes up in intensity the like actual presence of her vocals in the song gets like panned down it creates a very interesting vibe where again she doesn't overpower the mix not that i think that's even possible with this many instruments happening at, at any given time but she doesn't overpower the mix because even as she gets louder and more intense and uh, they're stack more layers on her vocals she gets mixed more into the sonic landscape of the song itself and so she kind of like becomes one with the music kind of creating like this like wall of sound vibe which is really cool i, I think it's dope
So I totally paused like right before the final second of the video, but I, I didn't know what where we were in the video, what else was gonna happen. But yeah, yeah, that was amazing. That was incredible. That was, wow, <laughs> wow. Again, the only thing that I dislike about this song is just the way that they mix the ad-libs, which I can hear them, but I feel like some people will miss them. I feel like that does a disservice to the artist who's like going crazy doing all these runs and stuff. And you're just like, did I hear that? Was that actually, you know? So um, other than that, the song is phenomenal. The video is like impeccable. I just, ain't nobody doing it like Riot Dog. It's, it's like, who else is making videos like this? Tell me somebody. You can't tell me somebody. Don't even try. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, please leave any lore and, and explanatory comments in the comment section down below. I am going to read them all. I am looking forward to them because it gives me a whole new appreciation on the video other than just like, oh my God, that looks so cool. Wow, that sounded so great. It gives me like a deeper understanding. And for other people who may not know all of that stuff, that they'll be able to read it too as well so thank you so much for leaving those comments down below while you're down there definitely make sure to like and subscribe not to miss any more content like this like i said i'll be reacting to more leak stuff in the future so definitely stick around for that but in the meantime you guys have a great day and i'll be seeing you here on the channel next time Prince the crown goes to me the first prince look at how i get jazzy first of his name leon will reign i'm next up so go ahead and crown e now i know that you have hurt but i'm the young david giant killer playing at the demons of my enemies Kali, think of me for centuries they gon' see my signs out in the streets